And welcome to your Gold Market Update with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets for Monday the 18th of July. Hope you had a great weekend. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news wires today. Of course, on Friday, the US markets, despite the fact that they closed low for the week, had a very sharp bounce. Essentially, last week was all about interest rate potential and inflation. After earlier in the week, expectations of 1% rate hike potentially at the next Fed meeting were abated to some degree by some of the comments resulted in that rally we saw on Friday. At this week investor focus switches to earnings as we begin to ramp up and of course in the background bubbling away is the China Covid situation which is concerning it is getting worse as lockdowns persist. US futures are mildly positive in Asia and Asian indices are following that positive US lead. ASX is up around about 0.6% in early trading. The European futures are also suggesting a higher open. In the FX world, the US dollar index dropped on less than rate expectations. Gold did close near 1700, which represents 14 month lows. Its next support is around about 1675, where the 200 EMA sits. Oil continues to test $100 support. We've seen that again in Asia today. And the VIX is at its lowest level for a month, testing key support at 25. Copper holds 320 but remains really bearish as well. Bitcoin's rallied. It is towards the top end of the trading range. There is a resistance at 21,500, which is not that far away from where it's sitting this morning, although there hasn't been a great deal of movement in Asia. As we've already intimated, earnings ramp up in the US. We've got more big banks reporting tonight than the Dow components start during the week. The first big tech company is on Wednesday with Netflix reporting. On the data front, there's very little of interest today. The New Zealand inflation number was the only key data point, and that's out already. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning. Uh, we're going to start with the Euro Yen. And you can see this is trading within a range of around about 100 pips. And we look as though we may be pushing to the downside. We're looking at a short term support in place around about 139.45. And if we break through that, there could be the 60 drop to retest these lows from Friday and from Thursday. On the ASX, we are up, as we've already intimated, TNE in the tech space looks pretty interesting. We've got a long term trading range, which we're moving towards the top of. And we've got a resistance sitting there at 11.62. A break of that could give plenty of upside potential if there's any momentum in this with the next key level being around about 7% to the upside at around about that 1240 level. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.